Okay, so now, now we're going to do powers, right? So the, the power rule is if y equals a to the n, right, then the uncertainty of y over y, that's a y, is equal to the absolute value of n times the uncertainty of a over a like that, right? So let's take a look at this guy here. 12.6 plus or minus 1.2. Right, and we're just squaring that, okay? So for this guy, n equals two, right? So now I'm gonna, the first thing to do is to find the answer, right? Okay, the answer is, uh, well, 12.6 squared, right? 12.6 squared is 158.76. Okay, the next thing to do is to set up our little fraction just like this here. So the uncertainty of that answer that I just got, I'll call it uncertainty of y this time, over 158.76. That equals absolute value of n, so n is 2. So twice this ratio here, which is uh, 1.2 over 12.6. And I'm going to do the same thing you always do, right? 158.76. So times 2 uh, times 1.2 divided by 12.6. I get 30.24. Uh, okay, so if I round that to two places, I have 30 decimal point, right? And then if I, this is the ones place, so I guess what I do is I round that to the ones place, so that'd be 159. There you go. So let's do the same thing with this guy here. Okay, so find the answer, let's do this one. So the answer is 3.4 to the third, right? Y to the x3, 39.304. Right now we'll set up our little uncertainty. So uncertainty of y over 39.304 equals, and then our n here is 3, right? It's the absolute value of 3 times 0.1 divided by 3.4. So now we do the same thing we always do, right? Put the 39.304 here. So let's go that times three times one divided by, whoops, times 0.1 divided by 3.4. And I'm getting 3.468. So rounding that to two places is 3.5. Rounding this to the tenth place is 39.3. So because that has a tenths place, when we round it to two places, I round this to the tenths place. Do that. We're good, huh? Um, I'll do the next two in the next video.